Today, I'm going to build a memory match game using Flutter. It is a classic game to improve your memory and concentration skills. I will define a game class that will handle the logic of the game, including shuffling the cards and checking if the game is over. I will also define a card item class that will hold the value and state of each card in the game. So let's dive in and start building our memory match game using Flutter. I created a new Flutter app and cleaned up the pubspec YAML file. I created the models folder inside the lib folder for the game classes. I then created the UI folder for the widgets and the pages that the app will present to the users. Inside it, I created the folders pages and widgets. I created a stateless widget and named it game button. It accepts two required parameters, title and on breast. The title parameter is the text that will be displayed on the button, while the on breast parameter is a callback function that will be called when the button is pressed. The build method of the widget returns a padding widget that adds padding around the button. The button itself is contained in a sized box widget that set its height to 50 and its width to the full width of its parent. The button is an elevated button that has a rounded rectangular shape with a border radius of 25. I then created the game timer stateless widget. It displays a timer on the screen in seconds. The game timer widget has a required parameter called time that specifies the time in seconds to be displayed on the timer. The timer is presented in a card widget with a red background color and a rounded border. There are two elements inside the card, an icon widget displaying a timer icon and a text widget displaying the time value. The icon and text widgets are arranged side by side using a row widget. The row widget has two expanded child widgets each with a flex value of 1. I created the card item model class that represents a card in the game. It enables the game to track the state of each card and provides the necessary information for rendering the card correctly. It contains two properties, value and state. The value is an integer that represents the value of the card. The state is an enum that indicates whether the card is hidden, visible, or guessed. The card item has two methods. The icon method returns an icon based on the value of the card, while the color method returns a color based on the value of the card. I then created the game class it contains information such as the size of the grid, the list of cards, whether the game is over or not, and the time elapsed. The class has the following methods. Generate cards generates a randomly shuffled list of card items that represents the game cards. Reset game resets the game by generating a new set of cards setting is game over flag to false and resetting the time to zero. On card breast method takes the index of the breast card and set its state to visible. Then it checks if two cards are already selected. If so, it checks if their values match. If they match, the cards are marked as guessed. The is game over flag is set to true 
if all cards are guessed. The helper method get selected card indexes returns a list of indexes of cards that are currently visible. The method is game over checks if all the cards are guessed. I created the memory card stateless widget. It takes in three required parameters. Card item contains information about the card's value and state. On card breast is a function that is called when the card is pressed. Index that represents the index of the card in the game grid. The widget returns a guesser detector widget that listens to tabs and calls the onCardBreast function. A card widget to display the game card. The color is determined by the state of the card item. If it is visible or guessed, it gets the color of the card item. Otherwise, it is gray. The child of the card widget is a center widget that displays the icon of the card. If the card is visible or guessed, it shows the icon determined by the value of the card item. Otherwise, it is null. The memory match page widget is a stateful widget that represents the main screen of the game. It uses a grid view widget to display a grid of memory card widgets and includes a timer and reset button. The widget starts by starting a timer and initializing a game object with a grid size of 4. The game object is then used to generate a list of memory card widgets that are displayed in the grid view. When a memory card is pressed, the callback function is called with the index of the card. The memory match page widget also includes a game timer widget that displays the elapsed time and a game button widget that is only displayed when the game is over. Pressing the reset button calls the reset game function which resets the game and starts a new timer. The start up page is a stateless widget that serves as the initial page of the game. It displays a title and a start button. And when the button is pressed, and it navigates to the memory match page. I created the memory match game widget to initialize the material app, set the game's theme to dark, and set the initial page as startup page. I updated the main dart file to run the memory match game widget as the root widget of the app by calling the run app function and passing the memory match game widget as the argument. The code is now complete. Run the app and when it starts, it displays the startup page. From there, users can start playing the memory match game by tapping the start button to navigate to the memory match page which contains the game board and a timer. When the game is over, the try again button will appear and the user can tap it to reset the game and start over.